Hey everyone, welcome back to another full day of eating. So I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and you guys know these videos by now. What I like to do is to share what I eat in a day on a plant-based diet to hopefully give you some ideas on things you can make at home yourself. So of course I'll be showing you my breakfast, my lunch and my dinner and you know some other activities throughout the day to kind of keep it interesting. So I'm just starting out my day here and I'm just having some mandarin oranges to do that. These are in season right now. Well not here but they're in season somewhere and uh man they are so good i can eat like a half a dozen of these at one sitting i never like to eat too much in the morning before my workout if uh, i don't go fasted usually i'll just have some fruit like this or a banana or something like that so something else i'm going to do this morning is to warm up my elbow with uh, this like Theragun kind of thing. And I've been suffering from like golfer's elbow lately and I don't even play golf. So it's not from that. It's from working out and just like from overuse. It's like a form of tendonitis. And if any of you have ever suffered from it, man, you know how much of a pain it is. And if you have any like good treatments that have helped you, please let me know. Cause I've been trying to do quite a bit for it. I've even gone to like uh, acupuncture and I don't know if that's helping or not, but uh, I'm just willing to throw anything at it right now. So I'm gonna hit it with this for a little bit and just kind of like, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, just kind of warm it up, loosen some things up in there, and then hopefully it doesn't hurt too much when I go to work out. And funny enough, guess who else <laughs> likes this thing? I don't know if she likes it, but she's always interested in it. She kind of likes it when she rubs her face on it. Man, that can't feel good, but she does seem to like it. So I just got to the gym and Crystal's here, thank you. And she saved the day because I forgot my water bottle and obviously I need some water to work out and to take my pre-workout here too, which is the pre-workout from Veg Nutrition. This is actually the uh, peach flavor. It is it tastes like fuzzy peaches, it's the freaking best. I, I kinda don't like to just slam it like this because I do like the flavor and kinda wanna savor it, but I gotta get into this workout. Ah, whoa. Yeah, a little transient experience there. Yeah, it was intense. <laughs> have you tried this stuff? Do I have a little bit of water? Yeah, it's probably the best. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> sour. I know, it's like fuzzy peaches though. It's good though. Mm. I really like it. Oh, you're gonna have a little more? Oh, a little dance with the devil. All right, let's do it. All right, so I've just done a few warm up sets and I have to say, my elbow's feeling pretty good. Like, definitely better than it has been. So this is actually my first workout that I've had in like, probably like a week or so, hey? And uh, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I've been in kind of a rut and I didn't realize how dependent I was. Or not dependent, but like how much working out makes me feel better. Like I just, you know, I felt like so down and uh, you guys might've seen it in my energy this morning. Like I just, kind of feeling that way for like the last week and I haven't been working out. And then today, coming to the gym, getting a few good sets and uh, man, I'm feeling so much better already. So I'm gonna do some weighted dips, see how these go. So it's my push day today. So I'm trying to work triceps, shoulders and chest as much as possible. And dips are one of my favorite like foundational movements. They don't call it the upper body squat for nothing. These are actually feeling really good and easy. I'm gonna put on some more weight. So this will be like 75 pounds. It's a little finicky getting all this set up, but it's so worth it. Oh, I love this movement. Oh yeah. So I kind of like to do these in drop sets. So I'll start out with 75 and then go down to 50. And I kind of go like, one rep shy of my absolute max. And then I'll go down one more, just to 25 pounds added. Might as well. Man, that was good. <laughs> Holy. All right, I'm gonna do a few more sets of this and then move on to something else. This is ridiculous. 
Forgot my headphones, but the music good today. What can I do? Thunder. The world's best antidepressant is physical fitness, working out, pushing your body. So this is another one of my favorite pressing movements. It's like a, uh, it's kind of like an overhead press. I guess you'd call it like a pike push up. And man, it's so good for like upper chest and the shoulders and obviously like a bit of triceps as well. So here we go. Actually, you know what? I like to kind of just quickly stretch it out a bit, stretch out the hamstrings or else I have trouble kind of getting into that pike position. Do this one, always good. Oh yeah. Yeah, so for whatever reason, this one feels really good on like my shoulders and all my joints. And I think it's because of this like neutral hand position. So I like to press down nice and deep and then I kind of keep my head tucked in as I press up. Sort of my chin tucked underneath. Oh, wow. And then just as like a little mechanical drop set, kind of push this out a little bit and then just go into a normal push up. I love those. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try a couple pull ups real quick because this is like the ultimate test to see how my elbow's feeling. Uh, still a little bit sore. But man, I love pull ups. Yeah, still, still a bit sore, not good for it. Pressing stuff's okay, but man, pulling, dang. All right, so it actually turned out to be a pretty good workout. I feel so much better than when I did beforehand. I mean, my elbow's still kind of hurting, but just as far as like my mood goes, man, I do not want to go long without working out again. It was like, I don't know, five or six days I tried like resting my arm and man, I was just, yeah, I was just getting more down and down each day. I mean, this time of year is like kind of always hard for me and I know it's hard for a lot of people. It's like, you know, it gets dark so early, the sun like barely, you know, gets above the horizon, especially here where I live. And um, yeah, it's just kind of easy for me to get into like a funk and especially if I'm not going to the gym every day, it's amazing how much it turns things around. And you know, I've been going for runs, but it just isn't exactly the same. Like I always feel better after I go for a run, but usually I don't go for a run until the evening. And when I'm working out, it's like I go first thing in the morning, I get to see all my friends, I push myself, and man, you just get those endorphins going and I feel so good. So anyways, heading home now and I'm gonna make some food. So I'll show you guys what I'm making. All right, so for my post-workout meal, I am gonna have some oats. Real exciting, I know, <laughs> but they're gonna be good. I'm gonna make them the best. I absolutely love having oats after my workout, especially during the winter. Just feels like so satiating and warming and everything, but I like my oats to be pretty sweet. So I'm actually gonna chop up some dates and then uh, put the dates in like the cooking water. I've already got some water boiling there and then throw the oats in as well. And it just like sweetens it up so nicely. You don't have to add any maple syrup or sugar or anything like that. So I know sometimes these, like what I eat in a day or full day of eating videos can get kind of repetitive. I do try and like change up the recipes, but I don't like to just like make stuff that I don't usually eat because that's the whole idea of these videos is to just kind of show what I eat on an average day. And a lot of the time it's just like real simple food. Sometimes it's a bit repetitive. Uh, I do like to make those recipe videos for you guys to show, you know, some different meals that are a little bit more complicated. Sometimes they involve a little bit more like processed food than I usually eat, like, you know, vegan cheeses or mock meats or whatever. Uh, and I do like to eat that stuff sometimes, but it's just generally like not what I'm eating on a day to day basis. So that's what these videos are for, just to kind of show you what I usually eat. Uh, so I've got two chopped medjool dates going in the water. And then I'm just going to add a handful or so of these sprouted organic glyphosate free rolled oats. Man, how many labels can these oats have? But they're really good. And I do try and buy organic oats as much as I can because you guys know that they tend to have like more pesticide residue, especially glyphosate than most other foods. And then I'm also gonna add a touch of cinnamon as well. And then what I like to do is just as the oats are finishing cooking, I'll turn the heat down and I'll throw in a handful of frozen berries. Today I have frozen raspberries and then just put the lid on and let them thaw like that. It turns out just perfect. So while that's thawing, I'm just gonna grab a frozen banana, then throw that in the blender and then throw in a scoop of vanilla plant-based protein powder. So I've got the Veg Nutrition vanilla ice cream flavor. This stuff is so good. 
So vanilla-y, so creamy, so much protein. <laughs> and then a scoop of creatine as well. This is the Creatine Plus from Veg Nutrition and uh, it has creatine plus some adaptogenic mushrooms and some other things. It's actually a pretty cool product. Great for recovery. Obviously creatine is great for like muscle building, recovery as well, energy, that sort of thing. And then a couple spoonfuls of flaxseed. Obviously a great source of omega-3s and some water. And then I'll just blend it up. So I usually make more than what I need for just like pouring on the oats, but I'll just like put it into a little container or a little cup or something and have it on the side as well. Where the heck's the lid? There it is. All right, Vitamix, do your thing. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> so good. And then just a little bit of this natural peanut butter. You just can't beat this combo, <laughs> like raspberries and sweet oats and peanut butter. Oh, and then the vanilla protein milk. Oh my goodness. And then just a couple pumpkin seeds. And then just a little bit more of the frozen raspberries. I just love like a bunch of different like temperatures, textures, colors and everything on my food. So some are gonna be thawed and then these little chunks are gonna be frozen. It's gonna be so good. Wow, that looks beautiful. All right, so I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy this, do some work on the computer, and uh, yeah, just kinda hang out. You guys can see, got our little Christmas tree up. It's like such a mini tree, it's only like four feet tall, but gives off the same good vibes, uh, you know, the good Christmassy vibes. If you've never tried cooking the oats that way, with like the chopped dates and then a little bit of cinnamon, it is just so good. Just the perfect amount of sweetness. Mmm, wow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So just as I finish my bowl of oats, I'm scrolling through Instagram and I find this reel. And man, this guy drives me nuts. He's such a grifter, but uh, I'm sure you've seen it. So you've got world champion marathon runner, world champion bodybuilder, Michael Phelps, world champion swimmer, eating oats for breakfast. <laughs> That's how I feel like that guy. <laughs> oh, what? This is awesome. So check this out. I was just about to make lunch and uh, saw that the UPS guy was at the door and he dropped off this package directly from Dr. Michael Greger himself. Man, how lucky am I? So. Um, sent this card and it says, Derek, may this add years to your life and life to your years. Signed, Dr. Michael Greger. So he sent me a couple things. So first, a hardcover copy of his new book, How Not to Age. We actually got sent like a pre-release of the soft cover copy of it and I've been thumbing through it and it is full of so much information, just like all of his books. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have a hard copy. And I believe you've been like making notes in the soft cover copy, hey? So this will be nice to like keep this one nice and fresh. And uh, he also sent me some beans in true Michael Greger fashion. So we've got a yellow eyed bean and a cranberry bean. It's pretty cool. You can see how they look there on the side. Really neat, man. What a nice guy. So that was so nice of him. So anyways, yeah, if you want some really good reading and lots of amazing information on how not to age, obviously focused on a plant-based diet, definitely check out this book. All right, so for lunch, I'm gonna make a kaolette pasta salad. And I don't think I've shown you this on the channel before. And maybe you've never even seen kaolettes before, but uh, this is what they look like. And they're actually a hybrid plant of Brussels sprouts and kale. So they're kind of like a really loose Brussels sprout, I guess is the best way to describe them. I always thought that they were just like the very tips of kale or like just as they started to grow, like almost like a kale sprout, I guess. I don't know, I didn't really think too much about it. So I'm just gonna give them a quick wash and then just saute them with a bit of chopped garlic, onion, and some salt and some pepper. And then along with the kaolettes, I'm gonna have some of this four bean linguine pasta. 
This stuff is awesome. It's like so packed full of protein. Any of these legume pastas are just like full of protein. So yeah, we always keep these stocked in the house. It's like 1 12th of a package has 15 grams of protein in it. It's pretty crazy. I'm definitely eating more than a 12th of a package at a time. All right, so everything's done. I'm just gonna add the pasta to this big bowl, add the kaolettes. And then I just chopped up some fresh veggies to have with it. So I've got some cucumber, tomato, and some olives. And then I'm just gonna add some of this organic no salt seasoning. It's just like a multi-seasoning spice. I think there's like, oh, it looks like there's like 15 different spices in there. It's really good though. Give this a mix. And then just a little chopped avocado. And then I was gonna have some tomato sauce with this, but turns out we don't have any. So I'm just gonna have a bit of tahini, some Nona Pia's balsamic glaze, and a little fresh squeezed lemon. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. Definitely like, a Mediterranean inspired dish. A little more of that seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna make a bowl for Crystal with the leftovers here and then, yeah, we're gonna eat it, enjoy it, and then do some more work. And I wanna get outside and enjoy the day a little bit, just get some more movement in, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. It's getting dark pretty quickly. It looks like it might rain, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to do it all pretty fast if I want to. So I thought I'd come outside, get a little extra movement in today. Usually I've been going for runs, but I feel like it's gonna rain. Well, it's already starting to rain a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna jump some rope for a few minutes and yeah, just to you know, get a little extra movement in throughout the day. And I like jumping rope, it's pretty fun. It's a good workout. So here we go. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's like almost dark already. It's like, I don't even, it's probably just around four o'clock right now, which is so crazy. But I'm sure the shortest day of the year is probably like pretty soon. Hopefully the days start getting longer. So whenever I jump rope, I'm always reminded of when I was in elementary school, the jump rope for heart club. I'm sure you guys had it where you lived. I'm pretty sure it was like a worldwide thing. I guess it was like the heart and stroke foundation. And yeah, you get like, we got like points or stickers or something. I don't know if we ever like raised money, but yeah, it was always like a really big thing. We got recess. I remember there's just kids just jumping rope everywhere. I'll try a couple doubles. Oh, dang. The timing of those is hard for me. I can do lots of like the, you know, like the crossover stuff and that, but man, the doubles are tough. <laughs> I only get one. <laughs> So I've done this a few times on my Instagram. I'm gonna see if I can do it here. If you time-lapse jump rope footage and you kind of like spin around and do some funky things and you get it at just the right speed, it looks so funny. So let's see if I can do it. It also makes you jump rope consistently for like three, four minutes because you gotta speed it up so fast. It only ends up being like 10 or 15 seconds of footage. Oh man, I was so tired. <laughs> All right, hopefully that works. Let's make some dinner. All right, so back in the kitchen, gonna make some dinner and I'm gonna have some quinoa, sauteed tofu and a big salad. It's probably like one of my favorite dinners to have. I've already got the quinoa cooking and I have it cooking in some vegetable broth and then I'm just gonna chop up the tofu right now. And I'm gonna be chopping up one and a half blocks of tofu because it seems like whenever Crystal and I have tofu and I only make one block. It's like not quite enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a block and a half. And this sauteed tofu that I'm gonna make has been our favorite lately. So I usually, or I used to do the tofu in like the air fryer, um, but this has just been like so simple and so good, especially since I've been using this new sauce that we found at Costco. So it's called uh, Japanese barbecue sauce. And uh, man, this is like just the only thing I put on it. You'll see when I cook it. But this stuff, it's like, how do I describe it? It's like soy sauce based, but it has like a good sweetness to it. A good, like a good bit of ginger as well. And then um, some toasted sesame oil, 
rice vinegar, garlic, and man, it's just the best. It's kind of like if you get a bunch of veggies along with your sushi at like a Japanese restaurant, that sauce that they pour on top, I don't know if you can like imagine that or if you've ever had that before, but yeah, that's what this tastes like. So the way I cook this is I just add the tofu to a pan and then I add a bunch of that sauce and then I add some water as well because the sauce is pretty strong, but I also like to just like simmer this for a little while and um, simmer that sauce down and it kind of like infuses into the tofu. The sauce gets nice and thick and it is just so delicious. All right, so everything's almost done cooking. I'm just gonna throw together a really quick salad. So I've just got some lettuce, some purple cabbage, some fresh cilantro, some red pepper, and I'm gonna try and make like a creamy salad dressing that is gonna go with the flavor of that Japanese barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit of water, some tahini, as <laughs> all my sauces kind of seem to start with tahini. It's such a good base though. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, and next I'm just gonna grate some of this frozen ginger. And when you freeze it like that, it grates up so fine. It's like kind of fluffy, it's really nice. And then the juice from an orange or mandarin, I guess. And then just to add a bit of a salty component to this, I'm gonna add some of this miso. Oh, yeah, it's amazing, wow. Mm. I'm just gonna add a tiny touch of tamari. I think this is gonna kind of bring it to the next level. Oh yeah, that's it. Mm. And I know it's kind of weird, but whenever I have a plate and it's got like two colors of food that are next to each other that are like kind of the same color, I always like to like separate it <laughs> with something else. So I'm just gonna throw some of these cucumber slices in here. I don't know if it's cause I'm always thinking of like making it like Instagram worthy or whatever, but I don't know, I just love how that looks. All right, so that is about as good as it gets for me. Just a nice and simple meal with some really delicious flavors, a bit of raw, a bit of cooked, and a whole bunch of goodness. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the tofu first because I'm obviously most excited to get into this. Oh, man, so good. If you ever see this anywhere, I think you can get it on Amazon as well. It's a lot cheaper at Costco though, but yeah, definitely worth trying. The quinoa. Mmm, perfect. And then let's see how the salad goes with all this, with that dressing I made. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, so I guess that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the day. I definitely had a pretty good day. It didn't start off the best, but I turned it around. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, you got some ideas for recipes or whatever, definitely hit the like button. It helps me out a lot, tells YouTube I'm doing good work and to recommend it to more people. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video. I tried to do this one a little differently than I've done past full day of eating. It's kind of fun having this microphone because I can like, you know, talk a little bit more at the gym and just, I feel like I could be a little bit more candid. So you'll have to let me know if you noticed that and if you liked it. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe so you can see more. And we'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye. Here's some other videos of mine that I think you might like. And if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support.